Hello people, welcome to the United Way. This is our transfer gossip and also update on Manchester United. I guess if you have missed, missed something, then I'm going to help you out in related to Manchester United. There's some development, some of them are positive. We'll talk a lot about what are the team, team B, the, the plan Bs that uh, Ten Hag is hoping to bring for Manchester United. If, I mean, take it or leave it, uh, you ha we have to agree this, right? This is not Ten Hag's fault, this is the Glazers' fault. Even Gary Neville has come out and said today that, uh, you know what, the transfer window will be hindered by the takeover. So it would have been better that uh, Glazers um, uh, made a decision as early as possible so the new owners can uh, dictate on what players come in and out. I feel sorry for somebody and that's not maybe the fans. I feel sorry for Ten Hag. You know, you, you know the history about Dora Jose Mourinho who came in the first season and we had a good season. The same thing Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And the second season, what does the Glazers do? Because they don't care about Manchester United. They F up the, go the, the, the manager and uh, we, we start doing really poorly. I think that is why Ten Hag has no other history of the Manchester United and Ten Hag is trying to go for players he knows. No one is talking about this. Ten Hag is going for player who he knows. So, this news has just come out here. We have uh, Laurie Whitwell who has come out that uh, Eric Ten Hag. That's Manchester United. It's uh, Eric Ten Hag. You know, he's the manager of Manchester United. So, Manchester United um, contacts fair not go over potential move for Justin Bishlow. Bishlow, Justin Bishlow is a goalkeeper that Ten Hag knows. You know, in situations like this, in situations where you feel that you have been betrayed, what do you do? You go with players that you, you know you trust, players that can play for you. So for those of you who are criticizing Eric Ten Hag for being a Dutch FC, buying all the players that he knows, it's because it's normal. Believe me, I, I play football. There are certain clubs you play, you go and you want to play for them. The manager must have his group of players that when the going is tough, those players stand for the club. So. Justin Bijlow, I don't know much about the goalkeeper, but if Ten Hag wants the goalkeeper, Ten Hag knows better, but I think he can do the job. The, prob the thing we need, the kind of goalkeeper Manchester United need, we need a goalkeeper that can assist the defender so we can play high line. That's simple as that. That is the key thing. Um, yeah. By the way, guys, if, please make sure you click the like on the video. You can subscribe. Thanks for all of the new subscribers. If we can hit 10K this well. Uh, Summer will be doing something fantastic on the channel. We are a young channel. I've told you guys a lot. So we'll be talking about also Mason Mount. Mason Mount was doing his medicals today in the evening. I think he will be presented tomorrow. We already had a year we go last week, uh, some couple of days ago from Fabrizio Romano and other outlets, fan outlets, and we will be giving you guys done deal soon video. So make sure you click the bell and because if you want to be the first to know and get the first pictures of, of uh, Mason Mount, as a new Manchester United or as the first Manchester United signing for the season 2003-2023-2024. Yeah, so that is a fantastic news for Manchester United and Ten Hag. You know, it is very important. One of the things if I learn in football is when you have a manager that you can trust, I think it's very simple to, to believe in the manager. As simple as that because you, the manager knows has a plan if it doesn't work he takes the responsibility so yeah so another news here is about Manchester United going for team B's as I told you team B's because for, the, for plan B sorry not team B's but plan B's they, they could come out to be good players plan B players in case we cannot meet the financial obligation because we have the FFP which uh, uh, actually uh, Manchester United or the Glazers are taking advantage of the FFP uh, in, in terms of they have to sell players in order to, to, to buy players. And so if you don't understand what that means, it's just a regulation to help uh, teams don't overspend more than what they get. So the revenue, cost versus uh, minus revenues, right? Cost minus revenue, you need to get, there is a bar financially in which play, clubs should pay. Why is Manchester... Why is Manchester uh, the only player suffering this? We think the Glazers are taking a lot of advantage on these quarters, which is wrong. But because United is a self, I think I've said you guys, I don't know if you agree with me, but Manchester United is a self, can sell, can manage itself. Because, you know, when you have a, a fan base like Manchester United, I'm here in Spain at the moment. We have, we have seen some United fans, which uh, will do some interviews on our next game. Guys, I just want to tell you guys, our next game from Wednesday, a week ago from Wednesday, we have a game. Manchester United is playing soon. 
So uh, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, and we're going to have a player reaction. I also want to get your, your view also on this Mason Green Room story. It is advancing. Mason Green will be going. Ma we will be will not be playing for Manchester United next season. That is already a fact. He will not be playing. So what Mason Green Room United are trying to do is they <coughs> understand he will not be a Manchester United player. They're trying to find a deal for him. And as I said in the video, if you haven't seen that, now you go to my last video that uh, Jose Mourinho wants him in Roma in Italia, which I think it's a good. A good deal. Another story here also is uh, about uh, the potential owners of Manchester United. You know, the Jim Ratcliffe uh, or the Sheikh Kassim. We want Sheikh Kassim. I mean, uh, uh, Jassim. And uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, um, both of them are trying to to get the Glazers' attention because they want to go to... They want to they do, it's not about making another deal, but it's more about getting hold on the financials of Manchester United and also uh, ma uh, making strategic decisions on Manchester United. But you can do this, you can do this only if the Glazers accept. So they are now in the, I think, I think Harry, uh, I, I mean, I think Gary Neville is correct because what uh, this transfer window has really dimmed all of our hopes. For Manchester United to be do well this season, this season, we had to have a good transfer window. But things are not working the way we are, uh, the way we want. We haven't sold players. We have sold Iqbal and also some players from the reserve teams. And you want, we, we, you are getting information. Someone like Bai, right? Bai, an international captain for the Ivorian national team, is going for less than two million euros. Manchester United has a huge problem with the structure, which that is the biggest challenge for the next owner of Manchester United. So. Um, guys, stay on board because it's very important for you guys to know the way that the, our club is ruled, how our cross our club has been brought to the ground, how things are moving in Manchester United because we basically have fraud as, as owners, which is not news for you guys. But we, uh, Ten Hag is doing a miracle. Last season, I said Ten Hag was doing a miracle, and some of, some of the fans were, 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 didn't understand what I meant. How can you function in a club where Jose Moreno came and said, after me, there was nobody ahead of me who could help with director or technical director. You have all this Merta, John Merta, Manchester United for all these years. They haven't really done anything. I mean, anything. They haven't done any improvement in Manchester United. The club has no structure. The club has no... They, I mean, the, the club, there, there is no culture in, in Manchester United. This is what Eric Tenha is struggling very hard to build in. Also, another big, 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 big news which we have is uh, the goalkeeper situation. As I said earlier, David De Gea, as of now, David De Gea is no longer a Manchester United goalkeeper. He's an ex-Manchester United goalkeeper. But things will turn very fast because Manchester United, as I said earlier on the video, that we are going for making a bid for Justin Bijlo. Why are we doing that? Because reportedly, this is from the Daily Mail, that um, Andre Onana surprise that Manchester United are not are not ready to meet up Andrew Nana's price of 50 million uh, uh, 50 million pounds to uh, Old Trafford uh, to Old Trafford from Inter Milan so they are not ready to pay that cash for Andrew Onana because uh, I think uh, I think United to some point we have to also show character we have to they, there must be a line here there that we can cross because all this crazy crazy demands for Manchester United I mean why is it like if he if this goalkeeper was going to Chelsea or going to another team, uh, they will buy. They will buy him for forty million. That's how it works. They will buy him for forty million. But it's always that United United tax that we pay a little bit over the odds, which is I think United is high time for us to be joining the line when buying players. And uh, yeah, talking about joining the line when buying players, we know of her, her um, the inter the Danish international Hoyland. Uh, who wants to, who Manchester United has, is about to give a second deal. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that uh, Hodgland uh, um, uh, might be a United player, but Atlanta is, who, uh, wants £80 million for Hodgland. I don't see £80 million plan for a player who has played one season. Tell me what you guys think about this uh, Danish international. I think, I mean, the max he could get for, for his age and his potential. I think this is a deal that has that has uh, that has add-ons all over it. This is a deal that has add-ons over all over it. Why? Because there have to be a way how you buy you buy young players. You know, 
you can buy a player for 100 million and just 50 million add-ons it has to it have he the players have to meet obligations i know it's not financially attractive but there must be a way of uh, rating players i mean financially if on the pitch or characteristics of footballers you can rate players and give uh, the best player of a game man of the match in terms of uh, performance on on the pitch there is a way you can there is a way you can you can um, you can assemble a contract to make it very attractive while not inflating the market if i'm making sense so that is the news we have today stay tuned make sure you smash a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you want to be the first um uh guy to see the pictures of uh mason man in the manchester united shed we will ping it up in the coming hours you know i know he's doing his uh, medicals now so uh, that is what we are going to do. Also, our